Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. So today we're gonna to be talking about Meeg Canyon, who is an animator slash content creator. You can see his main channel right here. He also has an old channel called Papa Meat, where yesterday he released this absolute stinker called the worst fan base on the internet. Now that fan base he's referring to is Lollicons, as well as anime fans generally, because throughout the video, multiple times, he lumps those two groups together. Now, this is a big mistake, not only because of the outrageous claims he makes throughout this video, but also the fact that over the years, Meat Canyon has made multiple animations sexualizing underage characters, including one video where he uses a real child as a reference for his sexualized animation. Big mistake on his part talking about any of this stuff. But why did he decide to throw his hat in the ring on this conversation? Well, he cites Vosh and the recent situation involving him. Now, if you want a breakdown of what happened about two weeks ago to Vosh, you can find a link to my video about it in the description. But the too long didn't read version of events is basically that Vosh has been very, very vocal about his disdain about Lollicons and anime fans calling them pedophiles and Nazis for the fictional content they consume. Well, lo and behold, about two weeks ago, he accidentally revealed one of his folders on stream, which contained Lollicon, of course. Now, people like me and others have been complaining about Vosh for years, not because of the fictional content on his computer, but because he has openly defended CP on multiple occasions. However, people like Meat Canyon only pretended to care about Vosh the second they found Lolly on his computer. Now, let's hear what Meat Canyon has to say about the topic of Lollicon. More recently, after that, there was a guy named Vosh on the internet that just leaked all of his Lollicon art on his stream, and it's been a huge debate and debacle lately. I wanted to do a video on this very subject because even my video recently was kind of about a Lollicon himself. And I do think that it's one of the most depraved and disgusting fandoms in all of anime and really all of media in general. So today, I just want to be fully transparent. We're talking about Lollicons. If you don't know what a Lollicon is, it's about guys who... They like anime girls that are 8 to 10 years old and they... Pedophilia. We're talking about pedophilia today. So if you don't like that, I just wanted to put that right up front just in case you don't like it. But I do think it's a very fascinating, depraved, disgusting piece of the internet that I think uh, would be lovely to talk about because these little cockroaches are hiding in plain sight. And I think that it might be good to get down to, I mean, how the hell did we even get here? So like I stated earlier, Meat Canyon talking on this subject is so beyond hypocritical when he has made multiple animations where underage characters are being sexualized, okay? This isn't a your likes are public moment. This is a you sat down in animated underage characters being sexualized type of a moment. It goes way beyond the usual hypocrisy we see with this subject. But here's the thing, okay? He has lots of these animations, and I'm gonna play a few throughout this video just to give you a taste of how ridiculous his complaints about Lollicon anime fans are, starting with this clip right here, featuring characters from Demon Slayer, both of which are underage. Oh my word, sister. You smell so good. My sweaty little princess. Oh, oh. Please help me. Oh, Nezuko. I'll always be here to help you. Sorry, someone help me. No. Oh. I could smell you all day. Get off me. Oh. My sweet sister. Leave me alone. <laughs> Smells like family. So we're off to a pretty shaky start with Meat Canyon. That's a pretty suspicious video for someone calling Lollicons pedophiles, but it gets a lot worse, a lot more blatant. This time we're gonna look at a Ben 10 parody he made, of course, featuring underage characters like Gwen. Your bones are weak, Ben. You're only a 10 year old boy, you know that? You're just a little boy. Yeah, well, I got a dick on me like a 40 year old. Is that right, Gwen? That's right, Ben. Oh, God, I knew you two were fucking. Uh, just grab his legs and let's get him into the van. It's hero time, goddammit. In case you're trying to keep score at home, that is now two videos where he has featured incest relationships between underage characters. But here's the thing. One of the big justifications that he attacks, he claims that lollicons use this defense of, oh, well, they're 9,000 years old. If you're trying to make the same argument to defend Meat Canyon in this situation for his animations trying to say they're aged up or they're actually older than they look. Well, he kind of ruined that own defense for
for himself, as you can see right here. The defense. People that like this kind of stuff are on the defense all the time. And what's interesting from even the consumers and the creators is that people justify this because you're like, oh, you, you're, it looks like you're sexualizing a child. But they're like, dude, she's a 7,000 year old dragon wizard, okay? She's older than you and I. She's older than every person ever in your family combined, okay? I mean, she has more insight and maturity than anyone. And that's like one of the big defenses, right? People and the creators being able to get around with little loopholes like that makes it feel like it, it justifies this very creepy, creepy act, which I don't know if it does. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and say it doesn't. Yeah, well, I got a dick on me like a 40 year old. Is that right, Gwen? That's right, Ben. So throughout his video, he time and time again says that if these characters look young, if you sexualize them in anime, you are a pedophile. And yet we've seen his Ben 10 clip his Demon Slayer clip. Now let's check out this clip right here, featuring the Magic School Bus. Now, I don't really know uh, what you guys think when you think about the Magic School Bus, but these are clearly students who are supposed to be young with their teacher. And in this animation, these students crawl up inside her. Miss Frizzle, I don't want to learn about that stuff. I want to learn about wet-ass pussy. Wop, wop, wop. Wop. We, we want wop. We, we want, want wop. You children want to disobey my curriculum and learn about old Miss Frizzle's sandbox, huh? Yeah! All right, children, fine. You've twisted my arm. Hop in the bus and let's get to learning. <laughs> Whoa, this place is cold and stinky. There's such a wide spectrum of anime and Lolicon comes from the style of anime known as Lolly. First of all, Lolly means a young or young looking girl character in Japanese anime or manga. So the term Lolly just means it's like a young looking girl. That's where that comes from. But Lolicon focuses on young female characters in suggestive and erotic content. The male equivalent of this is called Shotokan. It's basically I mean, it's just pedophilic anime. You children want to disobey my curriculum and learn about old Miss Frizzle's sandbox, huh? So based on those animations we just watched, I would love to see someone like Meat Canyon or one of his defenders try to explain how what he's doing to those characters is somehow different than the anime fans he's labeling pedophiles because of the way those fictional characters are sexualized. I would love to see him try to explain how those things are somehow different. But anyways, he would go throughout the video and he would end it with a little mic drop, his bottom line on this entire subject. Which here's the bottom line of this weird, depraved internet culture thing that we're talking about, lollycons. To me, it's as simple as this. If it looks like a duck, it quacks like a duck, and walks like a duck, it's a fucking duck. I don't think that you can take your brain and really substitute these things. There's no way to fucking take a limitless pill and be able to categorize all of the nuances of psychology that your brain is playing Jenga continuously to cater to your perverted fetishes. Well, here's the bottom line. Meat Canyon is facing some serious trouble, not just for the hypocrisy involving the previous animations we looked at, but a lot of people have been dredging up some of his older animations, including this one featuring Tom Brady and his son. Now, this is the animation from about three years ago. So for context, back then, ex-NFL player Tom Brady, there, apparently there was something out in the media where he kissed his son on the lips, and people thought that was weird, but Meat Canyon went a step further and made a full two minute animation of Tom Brady kissing his own son, who at the time of this video, this animation, was 12 to 13 years old. Now this is where things get a little tricky because he is referencing a real specific child. And in this animation, they are making out, they fall down to the ground, they're rolling around making sexual noises and remarks to one another, while onlookers like this are licking their lips. You can see it's very sexual based on the fact this video is age restricted for the sexual content. And as many others will point out, this is a serious issue. This isn't just a drawing anymore because it is referencing a specific real child. This is Shadman territory. And I don't feel comfortable even showing this clip. I don't know how it's on YouTube, to be honest with you. And I don't know how Meat Canyon hasn't been called out for this endlessly. I, I can't believe this is sitting here. Because he is using a real, specific child who was 12 to 13 at the time and making sexual animations, using them as a reference. 
That is a new territory. Like I said, that's the Shadman territory. And if you look at the definition of child porn, there is an actual reference to what Meat Canyon did. Visual depictions have been created, adapted, or modified to appear that an identifiable minor is engaging in sexually explicit conduct. That includes, by many people's definition, would include what he just did by using a specific child in his sexual animation. That is way, way more serious than the hypocrisy surrounding some of his other animations where he was sexualizing underage characters. This time, we have a specific real-life child being featured and used as a reference in this animation. That is a different territory, and a lot of people are comparing this to Shadman. He was run off of the internet, really, for two reasons, some legal reasons, but also he was morally run off the internet because he made sexualized artwork that was using Keemstar's underage daughter as a reference. Explain to me how that's different than what Meat Canyon was doing with Tom Brady's son. Explain to me how those things are different. This should be called out. This is the guy lecturing you and morally grandstanding about anime, but he's doing this and it, it, we're supposed to sit here and just accept it and, and give him a pass because he's the, the wholesome chungus animator that everyone loves. It's ridiculous. And moving forward, there was just so much projection in this video. I'm going to get into this part right here where he talks about Dragon Maid. Which the creators of Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, I love saying that, the creator of Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid have never specified her age. But because she can transform into a big dragon, people just speculate that she's 7,000 years old. Even though that is, that's just made up for their own kind of, you know, desires to justify what they're doing. But she looks like an eight or nine year old child. Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid team, just come out and say something. Or better yet, let's just not make it. Can I, can I get an amen for that? Amen. I just want to say that. First of all, let me just mention that this was the fumble of the century. So he's going into an anti lollycon rant, right? And he brings up Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, and he doesn't reference characters like Kana. He goes for Ilulu. And then the projection is off the charts. This guy looks at this large breasted dragon character and immediately thinks of children. Again, projection. We've seen this happen a million times on places like Twitter. It's a very weird dynamic that these people have where they look at characters like this and immediately think of children. But I also noticed that Me Canyon has an animation featuring Charlie. Now, I thought this would be a good example to give someone's pretty educated and fair take on the subject of Lolicon and sexualized characters in anime in general. And for some fucking reason, Twitter being the cesspool that it is somehow brings anime into this, talking about, well, how, why is cutie such a big deal when anime has kids being sexualized? Well, first of all, anime is fake. Those, those like, children lolly things, those fucking 900-year-old vampires that look like they're four years old, the little cum demons that have existed for two millennia, but they look like a six-year-old, those aren't real people. They are animated fake things. These are actual 11 and 12 year old girls that are subjected to this hypersexualization in this movie that the director has forced upon them. That's very different. This is real world versus totally fucking made up, drawn characters. It's not even comparable. So overall, this is a very disappointing situation where Meat Canyon has lost a lot of respect from people and really it's deserved, okay? I don't understand what compelled him to make this video. This absolutely reeking of hypocrisy group of statements about anime and lollicons and it's really backfiring horribly and and really the the controversy coming out of this i feel like it's only just beginning for him it's probably going to get a lot worse as people start diving into his content and for all of the people that he's trying to impress with this video please go ahead and show him his other animations featuring underage characters or featuring tom brady's son and all of these things because it is absolutely ridiculous that this guy has the nerve to lecture people and brandish them pedophiles over stuff happening in anime. Meanwhile, he's doing all of this on his own volition. It's crazy, but that's going to do it for this video. Uh, as always, feel free to share your, your thoughts about today's topics in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys next time.